Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be relocating our number plate. I've actually done this in the past and I've kind of just taken off for this video but I had a, but a few people in the comments ask me about the number plate relocation bracket they've got on the Jeep. Now in New Zealand, Australia and maybe some other countries a lot of our number plates are sitting on the bumper just there but if you're running bigger tyres or a tow bar you can't have your number plate there, it just doesn't fit. A lot of people either relocate it to here or they relocate it to the spare tyre, which we can't because we've got the spare wheel bag on. And for a lot of people they do it as well, or you've got a reverse camera or bigger tyres and you can't have your number plate there for whatever reason. But in America, because the number plates are shorter, our number plates are a lot longer for some reason. It's stupid. You can get like small number plates. But for America, the number plates sit just here. And it looks really good. It's a great spot to have it. It's out of the way. It's not going to come into play. Um, and also a lot of people actually either run steel bumpers which don't have a license plate bracket on them or you're just running a number plate, a bumper delete which you can't actually have a number plate built onto. This is a great location, it's out of the way, it's not going to interfere with aftermarket bumpers, um, your bigger tyre, your, your tow bar and things like that. I bought this from Jeep Connection in Australia and it was free shipping and it was about $35. You can buy these off eBay and Amazon, I will leave the links for those and the Jeep Connection ones down below. Now the Jeep Connection ones, they're pretty much the exact same thing, they probably just bought theirs from eBay and have resold them. The Jeep Connection one didn't come with any bolts or anything like that, no instructions, just pretty much straight in a box, anything like that. You can buy more expensive ones if you want, but they're pretty much exactly the same and they're very universal. It comes with four bolting holes, you can see on the Jeep, um, it'll be bolting through this plate here, and then two bolts on the bottom there. It also comes with a clip for your light as well which we actually don't have connected up so we need to do something with that because it's technically illegal at the moment but really simple to install I actually installed mine when the bumper was off which will make it a little bit harder to get to these bottom bolts here but we can work around that no problem at all so the first thing we need for this in installation is pretty much a um, Phillips head screwdriver and whatever bolt you'll be using to install your number plate as I said our ones didn't come with any bolts we just found some lying around that we had left over and just use those ones which are a 13mm um, head and nut so we just use those you can use whatever you want so all you need to do is use a flip head screwdriver to remove the license plate there's only four screws for those last time we removed the license plate we actually lost the backing for the side so we've only got two screws holding that in and then once you've got the number plate off once you've got the tail light off what you need to do is push on the little tab at the bottom and that pops out and that reveals the two holes that we'd be bolting your new license plate holder through. Now if you are leaving your bumper on, it can be hard to get these two bolts in here. I had that bolt shorter, and this bolt didn't actually go in at all without actually dropping down my bumper with it on the rear bumper. Maybe just leave that bolt off, it's not going to make any difference, apart from aesthetics, which you probably won't see anyway because the bumper is in the way. These two bolts here will be enough to actually hold it in and support the whole bracket itself and the license plate because it holds pretty much nothing. But I managed to get this one in. And you just do that one up from underneath. We'll see if we can get a shot of that. But it's very difficult to get this one in here with your bumper on. So if you are going to run your bumper, maybe leave that one off. These two, you'll be able to support it, no problem at all. To see, but that bolt just up there. So you can either come in past your rear mud flap, come in just up to there where my fingers pointed, and there's just enough room to get a sock and stuff in there.
All right, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Really easy to install. As I said before, we left the three links down below for either Jeep Connection, eBay, and Amazon. They're all around the same price, or whatever offices, offices, whatever offers the cheapest or most direct shipping and the fastest shipping, whatever it might be. Use one of the links. It doesn't matter. I've got no affiliation to anything. Just whatever gives you guys the best price. But if you guys like this video and want to see more, leave a comment. Whatever it might be, other videos you want to see on the Jeep, doing things in the garage, whatever it might be, leave in the comments, let me know. I like to make videos that actually benefits you guys, get something out of it, and also whatever it might be. So that's it for today guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.